matriculants from Philippi on the Cape Flats who got distinctions in maths and science have attributed their success to an NGO. The Western Cape achieved a 77% pass rate for maths and around 74% for physical science. The Klutwanong Centre for Math, Science and Technology was established to promote these subjects in township schools, which it says historically underperform in both subjects. 17-year-old Kanyang Kongo lives at Brown's Farm in Philippi. She shares the shack with her parents and younger sibling. She's defied the circumstances and has bagged six Hello. distinctions, scoring 98% for both mathematics and science. Kanya is one of about 150 Philippi pupils who have benefited from the Kutwanong program. It helped me so much because um, when I first joined the program, program I was only obtaining um, around 70% for mathematics and physics. But now, like I've obtained 98% for, for mathematics and, and science, it helped me so much. Kaya plans to follow a career in actuarial sciences. How many distinctions? Six. Six distinctions. What did you obtain in math? 98. What? 98%. 98%. Hala, hala, promise, hala, hala. Apart from focusing on maths and science, Kutluanong is also increasing the pool of black students in engineering, the sciences and commerce. With 20 centres across seven provinces, thousands of poor pupils have already reaped the benefits of its programme. Maths and science are your gateway subjects to this you know, economy that we are battling with. And we then said, let's have children come every Friday, every Saturday, every Sunday, and give them five hours of maths and five hours of physical sciences, so that we can supplement what they are getting from their schools where well, they can perform. And today I'm so excited because in this area of Philippi, we have produced over 50 distinctions in mathematics and science. The NGO says it's dedicated to rolling out more centres across the country, with another one planned for Kailicha in a bid to equip even more children to master maths and science. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.